on, you two. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, you've caught me. <laughs> <laughs> it's Benjamin's turn. Those little lions sure are cute. Well, aren't you too pretty? Just what I'm looking for. <laughs> huh? What do you mean? Who are you? Allow me. Cedric Simba, Safari Park owner. Two little lions like these are just what I need. Tell me your price, and I'll buy them. These animals aren't for sale. What does he want? This man wants to buy Loop and Lop. But we're a zoo family, not a pet shop. Oh. Well, then I'll just have to speak to the zoo director. Mr. Director will tell you the same thing. We'll see about that. Since when do elephants and... Kids call the shots around here. Who does he think he is? We should go tell Mr. Director. Benjamin, I know! A thief's broken into my office. What? Someone has stolen the zoo's cash box. All our money's gone. Please come look. Maybe we'll find a clue that'll lead us to the thief. Yeah, I'll look outside and you look inside. If the zoo's cash is gone, then they'll need my money. You'll soon be my little lions. <sighs> Hello, friends. The zoo's cash box has disappeared? <laughs> no problem! <laughs> I'm here! This is a case for Master Detective Gulliver. I can solve anything. <laughs> the cash box was in there. Hmm. The thief got in through here. How am I going to pay for the animal's food? Don't worry, Mr. Director. Otto and I will find the thief and bring the cash box back. Find anything, Otto? There's some footprints, but they're animal prints. Something in the bushes. Be careful. <laughs> it's only Loop and Lop. Hey, what do you got there? <laughs> hey, that's a piece of evidence. Give it to me. <laughs> it must belong to the burglar. Good, Otto. Our first clue. That was a good heist. You were better than I thought you'd be. That's a real honor coming from you, the famous robber Ronnie of Old Town. Yep, you're gonna learn a lot from me. <laughs> you got another idea? Of course. The zoo's cash box was kid stuff. Now we're going for something difficult. Like what? The supermarket, my boys. I've already got it figured. But I need my cap back first. It must have fallen off at the zoo. Forget it. We haven't got time for that now. My dear Mr. Stuffkins, I'm sorry, but I won't be able to pay you right away this time. The zoo's cash box has been stolen. I see. You haven't got any money again. I'm sure the cash box will turn up soon. Did you find anything? No more clues, I'm afraid. <sighs> well then. I can save myself the job of unloading. You're not going to take the animal's food away again, are you, Mr. Stuffkins? Of course I am. No cash, no goods. But what are the animals supposed to eat? That's not my problem. Let me know when you can pay. <sighs> I knew it. Don't worry, Mr. Director. Otto and I will take the cab to the police. Hmm. They've overlooked something for sure. The big guy will never find the cash box. What a good thing that Master Detective Gulliver has taken over the case. Aha! It must be the cash box thief. The jig's up! <laughs> 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 Attack on Master Detective Gulliver! What? <laughs> ah, can't that hedgehog find 
another place to sleep? Anything else for you? Maybe later. <laughs> Ronnie's plan is really great, and I've got the most important job. Just a moment, gentlemen. It worked. <laughs> I think something has fallen over. Uh, oh, my goodness! It, it, <laughs> Stack those cans neatly. <laughs> Stop! Stay where you are! <laughs> Stop! Thief! I can't promise anything, Mr. Benjamin. You don't even have a description of the suspect. But here's his cap. That's an important clue. Well, there's a lot of caps like that. Perhaps a zoo visitor lost it. Behind Mr. Director's house? <sighs> right. Crime, theft of zoo's cash box. Description of suspect, none. Clues, sketchy. A Newtown Police Station. Newtown Police? And, and somebody who jumped in my store and stole my register and I need somebody to come down here right away! What happened to the supermarket's cash register? I tell you what, there was a day back in there that those kids wouldn't have got away with anything like that! Stolen? Just now? I'm on my way! Did you hear that, Otto? The supermarket cash register's been stolen too! I I'm sorry, Mr. Benjamin, I've got to go. And what about us? Uh, you're free to investigate any way you like. Well, what now? Hmm. I've got an idea. Who always helps us when we're in trouble? Ms. Karamba! I can't give you any more. I've got to make the food last until we get the cash box back. Don't worry, you guys. Benjamin and Otto are good detectives. They'll find the thieves and the cash box. That's a lot of money for those little lions. And I'll pay you now in cash. <laughs> no, no, no! The zoo will never sell Loop and Lop. Never! But you could pay for the other animals' food then. Benjamin and Otto are going to find the cash box. As you wish. Goodbye. <laughs> I'll get those two little lions. Cedric Simba doesn't give up that easily. Who else never gives up? Detective Gulliver, that's who. I'm flying after that guy. He's very suspicious. Typical. As soon as a suspect appears, the big guy's not here. But Detective Gulliver pays attention to everything. <laughs> everything except... Where I'm going, Hughes. So, there's been a break-in at Mr. Director's, and you want to put an ad in the newspaper? Yeah. Zoo's cash box stolen. Please give it back. Reward. A year's free entry into the zoo. I don't know. I really don't, Mr. Benjamin. The thief isn't going to just give himself up. I think Miss Crumb is right, Benjamin. Oh. What's with the cap that you've got there? We found this at the scene of the crime. That's it. The cap. How about this? We could put a cap found ad in the newspaper. Yeah, the person who answers it has to be the thief. Now that's more like it, gentlemen. We'll set a trap for the thief. The ad will go in the afternoon issue, and whoever answers... We'll grab them. Toru! What's all this? Someone else has had their cash stolen. They must be the zoo robbers. Hmm. What an opportunity. <clears throat> right. Wow. First, I'm going to buy myself an extra large ice cream sundae. We're not spending any of it until the dust is settled. <laughs> We're gonna hide the cash right now. Hmm. Oh! 
Didn't you hear what Ronnie said? <gasps> Good day. Ah, what do I see here? N -n nothing On the contrary, I believe those items are from the zoo and the supermarket. Am I right? Here, hmm? you're quite famous in Newtown. But don't worry, I won't tell anyone. <laughs> Who's the boss here? It, th that, that's me. I have a business proposal. Can we talk privately? Uh, yeah. Uh, come this way. And you two, hide the cash boxes! I'm gonna do it myself. You'll just try to get at the money. Read the paper. We really are famous. It says here in large letters, Newtown cash boxes in danger. Unknown thieves. Yeah, what's this? Hey, that looks just like mine. If you've lost this cap, please contact Carla Carumba at the Newtown Press. Uh, I've got to go out for a minute. Fine by me. What'll we do if nobody contacts us about the cap, Benjamin? Be patient, Otto. A good detective has to learn to wait. There's no more, I'm afraid. Benjamin! Otto! Ah, there you are. Miss Grumba has just called. You've got to go to the press office at once. There. You see, Otto? is hopeless. Cap? Ha <laughs> ha! That's a red herring. I'm going to look for real clues in the zoo. <laughs> Aha, little Kanga. What have you got hidden in your pouch there, hmm? Is the cash box in there? <laughs> but, but, uh, hey! Oh, outrageous! He's coming to collect his cap at any moment. Let Auntie Carla take care of it. And you stay there until I say grab him. We have to be absolutely certain before we act. Come in! Uh, Ms. Carumba? What can I do for you? I've come about the cap that you found. Do you mean this little cap? Hey! Not so fast, young man. How do I know that it's really your cap? Uh, I don't know. Where did you lose the cap, and when? Oh, I know that all right. Uh, yesterday in the zoo, I was there with two, uh, friends, uh, and we took something, uh, uh, looked at something. Is that so? Thank you. Why didn't you say grab him? Now he's gone! But Ottokins, he said he wasn't alone in the zoo. We must follow him. Right. And then we can grab the others, too. And the zoo's cash box. Bingo, Mr. Benjamin. And I'll take the photos. <laughs> Stealing the zoo's cash box was a great stunt. First class. <laughs> My idea. So what do you want? If you've stolen something from the zoo once, then you could do it again, couldn't you? No problem. What'd you have in mind? There are two little lions that I'd like to have. Or is that too difficult for you? Too difficult? Ha! <laughs> I can handle it. No problem. Just Mr. Benjamin doing his shopping. <laughs> and we've got the zoo's money. <laughs> you got yourself a deal, Mr. Simba. It was a pleasure. I'll be seeing you. <laughs> so then. <laughs> hey, 
Wake up, you big lug. We got work to do. Where's Hinky? Uh, uh, he had something to do. He'll be back in a minute. That must be their hiding place. Hey, that's the man who wanted Loop and Lop. That's right. <gasps> Sensational. What a story. Can you see anything, Mr. Benjamin? Nothing, I'm afraid. But you could, Otto. Come here. Well, all clear. At last. I've got my cap back. We don't care about your pathetic cap. We gotta make a plan. Okay, guys. We're going into the zoo again. Huh? But we've already got the zoo's cash box. And I've hidden it really well. <laughs> Amateurs. This time we're gonna steal Loop and Lop for Cedric Simba's Safari Park. He's paying us very well. <laughs> <laughs> Just you wait. I'll put a stop to that. No, Benjamin. Shh. Stop, Mr. Benjamin. But they've got the cash box, and now they want Loop and Lop. They'll deny everything, and they've hidden the cash box. How are you going to find it? Miss Karumba's right. They'll only confess if we catch them in the act. Hmm. Then we'll have to set a trap for them. That's better, Mr. Benjamin. Yeah, in the zoo with all the animals. Ho oh, ho! Good idea, Otto. Hmm. Aha! The zoo's closing, but thieves come in the night. So Master Detective Gulliver has to stay alert. Ah, the press lady and the boy. <laughs> Hanging around. And the big guy's just standing there chatting instead of keeping a lookout. It's a good thing I'm here. The zoo can sleep peacefully tonight without worrying about thieves. Outrageous! Thief! So, I hope you've taken note of everything. Hmm? Sergeant, when the crooks are in the trap, then you appear and arrest the lot of them. I can depend on you? That's marvelous. Everything okay, Miss Grumba? Just fine, Autokins. Oh, all the animals know what's up. Great! Then we're ready for those thieves. <laughs> You'll soon be mine, you little lions. Stealing lions is a piece of cake, a piece of cake. A piece of cake! I'll wait here. Good luck. And... 
What now? The stone moved. Don't you start with that nonsense now, too. Lie nice and still now. <laughs> They'll be here soon. Let's hide, Miss Karumba. There they are, the little lions. <laughs> Go on. Get in there and bring them out. What? Into the lion's cage? Go on. I'll keep watch. Well, well, okay. You're the boss, Ronnie. That's it. <laughs> Piece of cake, you see? It's all right, Leo and Leah. So, we caught you at last. Better get out of here. Mr. Benjamin, that Ronnie fellow's getting away. He won't get far. <laughs> well, good evening, Mr. Robber. You didn't get far today, did you? Uh, I, I just happened to pass by. Huh. Sure, and you just happened to steal the zoo's cash box. Uh, uh what? Gigi, shake him. <laughs> so, where have you hidden the cash box? I haven't got it. Shake him harder, Gigi. Please, stop. I, I feel sick. Oh, way to go, on. Well done. And Mr. Robber is just about to tell us where the cash box is. Isn't that right? Yes. No, no more shaking. I'll tell you everything. Toru! Oh, something's gone wrong. I've got to get out of here. What? What's wrong now? Yeah. What's your hurry? <laughs> Toru! Who? What? What? Where? <laughs> Who? Uh, oh, oh, the big guy has caught the thieves. Oh, how embarrassing for Master Detective Gulliver. I'd better go undercover. There you go, Mr. Stuffkins. Thank you, Mr. Director. All's well that ends well. Smile! At last, we've got some food. <laughs> and the cash box is back. Of course, now it's empty. But all the animals have got enough to eat. We never have managed it without you. What a nerve! My lemonade back! Ah, oh, that's enough! I don't want to be a detective anymore! I'm tossing in the hat! Bye!